Hey guys, what's up? DLive here, and I'm here with a game called 60 Seconds. Now, I tried to play this game a very long time ago, but it would crash. I, I couldn't get it to work. No matter what I did, I couldn't get this game to work, and I finally, finally got this game to work. I tried it the other day. It works. I didn't do anything. It just works now. I don't know what happened. Don't ask me. It's crazy, but I've always wanted to play this game. I love Fallout, those kind of games, and this is like an apoc apocalyptic game, so it's pretty cool. I played the tutorial, so I know what to kind of grab. Not everything I know what to get, grab, but I know you're supposed to grab the radio, food, and people. So we're going to play this game and see how long I can survive. I did the tutorial, and that's it. Um, I did the first beginning tutorial. I didn't do anything where you have to survive the days. Kind of reminds me of like Papers, Please. It goes through like a daily thing. I didn't do any of that because I wanted to be surprised of what happened. So let's go ahead. Enough talking. Let's jump into this. So this is the game mode, which is Apocalypse. Uh, little Boy Easy, Fat Man Normal. Fat Man's gun and Fallout. I don't know if that's what it's referencing. And Czar Obama. Is hard. We're definitely not gonna do hard, but we're definitely not gonna do easy. We're probably gonna die, but we're gonna do normal. Let's do normal. All right, it's on normal. Let's go. Pizza on the roof. I know what that reference is. I want pizza. Man, you're making me hungry. Okay, so soup, water, and people, and radio. So we can we. Oh, we get a little bit of time to look around. Oh, uh, what should we do? Should we, should we grab this thing and then grab our daughter real quick? I don't know what this is, but we're going to grab you. I know she takes up three spots, and that's kind of mean, but I know it's referencing. Okay, kid in here. Get this kid. There's a flashlight. Nice. Panic time. There's the radio. Oh, my God. I'm doing so good. Guys, I'm doing so good. There's a gun. Let's get the gun. The gun's probably going to do good. Uh, good things. We can shoot people. What is this thing over there? I don't know. Grabbing food. This is what you do in an apocalypse. You panic. We're halfway through. We're... Oh, we're missing the wife. We're missing the wife. Where's the wife? All right. We'll get the wife last. She'll make it. Trust me. Got a lot of soup. Got a lot of soup. All right. Where's the wife? Where's the wife? Where are you, wife? Wife, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. No need to panic. No need to panic. No need to panic. Get the axe. The axe looks cool. Throw her in there. Can we grab some water real quick? Grab the water. Can you make it? Woo! We made it! Oh! I thought I was gonna die. I wanted one little water. The thing is, I didn't get much of other stuff. I know there's a first aid kit and a map, and I did not get those, and I feel like that's gonna be a problem, but it's all a learning experience. We did good. Okay, so I'm getting achievements. I don't know what I did, but I'm getting achievements. I'm a family guy. All right, so we're gonna look at our journal, apparently. Oh, we do have a first aid kit down here, it looks like. I hope that is all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast that was close one as long as we're together we can make it work down here we remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you we can't remember bringing those supplies down to the shelter but we're not complaining we probably should have stocked it better anyway our shelves are full of cans we eat we'll eat from cans we'll sleep from on cans we'll even talk to cans some of us already do <laughs> Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure it's a good amount of supplies. Okay, time to ration supplies. So we need to ration. Is anybody hungry? I'm going to say no. We got a pretty good amount of water. Look at that. Look at that. We have more water than soup. I feel like water probably is more important. One minute it was all fine, and the next we were at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're going to survive this. Let's just sleep on it. What? Why are we already panicking? It's day one. All right, so we're going on to day two, I'm guessing. We didn't have to do anything. All right. <laughs> I'm getting a five o'clock shadow. <laughs> what is Timmy doing? I don't, I don't know what her name is. This is the problem. I don't know their... I guess he's going to tell me the names. From the tutorial, that's Timmy. Timmy's just, like, looking up at the... He's he's pondering life. There's a fly in here. Okay. There's nothing better than the quiet after the storm. Or was it the other way around? It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. So, Mary Jane is somebody. 
Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. Ted says there's no need to worry about. So Ted is the dad. I'm assuming, I feel like Dolores would be a mom name and Mary Jane would be the daughter's name. All right, so Ted is all worry. He's okay. All right, time to ration supplies. It didn't tell me anybody was hungry or thirsty, right? It looks like the area is still irradiated. Going to the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge, and Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. <laughs> That's not gonna get you very far out there, Timmy. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Uh, sure. What should we give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again? We can't say there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. All right, so I said prepare. Did we all go out? Okay, so what happened? What did we do? Did I do good? Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. Water is what Mary Jane needs the most right now. So we gotta give Mary Jane some water. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Sometimes. All Ted wishes for is a few drops of water. So we have to give everybody water? Okay, everybody gets water. Everybody gets water. It's like Oprah. Everybody gets water. You get water. You get water. Everybody's getting some water. Okay, everybody got some water. This is a good day to go outside. Stretch a bit. Get some fresh air. Toxic air. Maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies. That is if we want to survive. What to take outside? I don't think I have anything to take out. Who should go outside? Well, Ted, Ted's the father. He's got to go out, man. He said he was vigorous and he could withstand everything. What can I take? Oh, I could take, I could take some stuff. I could take a flashlight and ax. I feel like he's going to have to fight off some people. So we're going to give him the ax. So Ted's going to go outside. Oh man, maybe Ted's not going to make it back. Day four, oh, Ted's gone. She looks really annoyed. She's like, I, I don't want to be here. I want to go shopping. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Yeah, see that little face? I see it. Dolores is fine and well as much as anyone can be fine and well in this tiny shelter. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Equipment and axe. Okay, time to ration supplies. No one's complained about food, so my food... It's gonna stay stocked. No one's getting shit, okay? Keeping everything under wraps. We are. We were discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight, and we weren't surprised when they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could, water, food, or medical supplies. I mean, we do have a lot of food. Uh, but should we help them? Ugh. What if they attack us if we don't give them some? What if we give them something and then they attack us? There is just so much shit that could go wrong here. Let's give them some soup. Let's give the benefit of the doubt. I know I'm probably being stupid here, but I'm gonna try. We'll give them some soup. Oh, day's over. Okay. Day five. No one has ate anything. Everybody seems pretty good so far. All right, I think I'm doing good. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possibly, actually, and thanking us for the gesture. They were eager for, for they were eager to repay us, and one of their group offered us a map. Yes, a map. We got a map. We forgot that. Now we have a map. Oh yes, it was a good idea of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here, so it was brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised we'll give it a try and wish them a safe journey. So we lost soup, but we got a map. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Timmy seems okay as much as he can get, as much as he can be in our current situation. Life is hard for us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. All right, so Ted, I don't know if Ted's dead. Ted might be dead. But no one needs food or water, so we're going to move on. We keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day when there weren't as many bombs falling down. Not on our heads, anyway. I want cake. I want cake, too. I want cake. Can we? I'm doing good, I think, right? 
I don't know. Day six, man. Ted's still not back, man. This is not good. What can we make of today? Will our tomorrow? Will we'll be... What we make of today... God, I can't read. What we make of today will be our tomorrow. So let's make it right. We can spare some water. Mary Jean has been asking about it all day. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. And there's one thing we need. It's water for Dolores. We haven't ate at all. All right, so everybody's getting water. We're being, except for Ted. Ted's possibly dead. Good news, everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they are useful for something. We should head out to get those crates as soon as possible. Grabbing, grabbing some protection gear might not be a bad idea. Uh, but Ted's outside. Maybe Ted already got it, or Ted's dead. Oh my God, where's Ted? What is this thing over here? Ted's probably dead. Like, I don't know. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Timmy is very hungry, and Doris would really love to eat something. So we gotta give some food. I don't know if Ted is dead, but we'll give some soup. We're finally eating. Ted's gonna be like dead just from starvation and dehydration. It's difficult to keep track of time down here, but at least we remembered it's Timmy's birthday today. He's growing so fast. Happy birthday, Timmy. We should get him something every boy wants for his, which birthday is this again? Uh, we can, we have a Boy Scout book. Like he might want that. Let's give him the Boy Scout book. I don't think Ted's coming back, guys. Ted's back. Oh, he doesn't look too good though. He's sick. He's definitely sick. Oh man, Ted, I am so sorry. We don't know if Timmy's ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Scout Handbook is a deadly spider killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. The local school is a big building a mile away from our house. Nobody liked that place. The atomic blast didn't change that. Now without windows and few walls remaining, it looks even more unpleasant. Pleasant or not, it it seemed like a good spot to hunt for some useful supplies. The PE teacher was a World War II veteran. He kept some of his war trophies and memorabilia in his office at school. This included grenades, a bazooka, and a fully functional gas mask. Holy shit. We returned from the expedition, but our axe didn't make it. Fuck. But we got a gas mask. Is that good? Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't? In this coffin-sized shelter. Timmy might not look like it. But he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Good job, Timmy. If there's anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted becoming infected with something. God, no. And Ted is really tired. All right. We're going to give Ted some food. Oh, shit. No, not ev no, everybody gets food. Only Ted. Ted got us some good stuff. All right. Ted got us some good stuff. So we're going to give him food. Can we give Ted something? We do have a first aid kit. We'll give him some first aid. Ted is too weak for any expeditions at the moment. Dolores is in pretty good shape. You know what? We're going to send Timmy out. Timmy's very enthusiastic. We're going to send th Timmy out. Can we do Timmy? Should we start? Okay. So we're preparing. How about it? How about that lake we've been going to for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there. Far away from all this madness. Swim a little. Maybe take a boat ride. Even as this whole place turned into Adamville. All right. So nobody's died yet. Day nine. <gasps> He's better. Ted made it. Our first aid kid's gone, but Ted made it. Oh, my God. We're doing so good. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. Ted is hungry. Ted has recovered from his sickness. All right, so we need water for everybody. So water, water, food. If we're sending Timmy out, is it wise to give him something? Because we're running low on water. Let's not give Timmy something. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. The only thing left to do is to choose the right person to go outside. We're going to go Timmy. We're going to give him the gas mask. Yeah, we're going to go give him the gas mask. We have a lot of supplies. Let's give him the gas mask. Go, Timmy. Be safe, my brother. Or my son. Or what What am I? Am I just a narrator for these people? Everybody looks okay. 
Ted looks really tired still. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what he'll do, what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Take the gas mask. Everything seems okay with Dolores. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted needs water to survive. So Ted needs soup and water. Man, Ted got his ass kicked out there, man. All right. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble. If that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. Okay, we're going to go radio, man. We're going to use the radio. Hopefully, Timmy comes back. It took Ted forever, and Ted got sick. Oh, I hear some stuff from the radio. Portable radio. Oh, this tells us everything we have. A flashlight. An insane person is highly unpredictable. Oh, great. That's, that's a great thing to tell me. Oh, God, the lights blinked. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying so out loud. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about. Ted is fine. Oh, yes, we don't have to use any supplies. Great. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully, we'll keep our peace. Or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. No, everybody calm down, okay? Ted's like, I don't want to deal with this shit. Is Ted going to grow like a full beard? That'd be great, man. Timmy's still not back. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Dolores will not last long without water. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. So Mary Jane and Dolores need water. We have one jug of water left. Timmy, if he wants to stay in the shelter, he better bring back some water because we're getting our ass kicked. It's... It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and started asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about turning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Uh, should we wait for the military to contact us? I think we'll wait. We won't do that. I don't know if that's a bad or good idea. I'm just going off the cuff, man. I don't know what's going on. Timmy's still not back. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Dolores has not eaten for a while, and Ted is really thirsty. All right, so Ted needs water. Oh, no, no, don't do the whole thing. Uh, and, okay, so do we, we don't, they don't need water. Ted needs water. Okay, we got this. Ted has got water. Dolores has, okay. What do we need to do? Ted's thirsty, Dolores is food, Mary Jane is food. So food, food, take the water off. You don't need no water. And Ted is, doesn't need food. He needs water. Okay, we're good now, right? Okay, I'm, I, I'm just, I need to do this perfectly, man. I can't die like this. I can't die from a stupid mistake. There's an armed and dangerous woman outside. Fortunately, she's out of ammo. She tells us she hunts the wild beasts of the waste. And right now, she's on a trail of a giant mutated spider. We're pretty sure she's lost her mind. What are you going to do with that spider, lady? Put it on a leash? She promises that if we help her, she will return the favor another day. We don't have any ammo, though. Sorry. I don't have any spare ammo. So what does these do? What do they do? Oh, they're already killing my friend. What is this going to happen? Holy shit! It's killing so many people! Are you guys just running into them? Are you guys that dumb? Are you dumb? All my friends are dead! You guys killed all my friends! Oh, you guys killed all my friends! 